please join us. Torah lesson. This week's Torah portion of Pasha's told us, the question of the week is, what is more important, the soul or the body? The neshama or the guf? So in this week's Torah portion of Pasha's told us, we learn about the two brothers, Yaakov and Esau. The Torah tells us, Esau was a man full of hair, red, and he was a hunter. And Yaakov was someone, Ishtam, Halim. he sat at home, a simple person. The Torah continues to tell us a story. Esau comes home one day from the field. Yaakov cooked a pot of lentils. And he says to Yaakov, give me some of the lentils. And Yaakov says, no, I don't want to give it to you. So he says, you don't want to give it to me? No problem, I'll buy it from you. So he says, what are you going to give me? He says, I'll give you my firstborn rights. So Yaakov says, shine, we have a deal. And sure enough, that's when he sells him the firstborn rights. So the question is asked, Esau is a hunter. Why would Esau go ahead and need from Yaakov some lentils? And B, why would he go ahead and sell for the firstborn rights? He knew how valuable it was. So the Rebbe explains that the truth is, is a whole spiritual story that was taking place here. As we know that Yaakov resembles the Neshama. Esau resembles the Guf. What's the difference between the Neshama and the Guf? The Neshama is someone that shines. He has qualities, good deeds, all beautiful attributes. The Guf, on the other hand, is a body. But on the other hand, the body was created by Hashem, and God shows us because of our body. That means the body creates our essential connection with Hashem. So in other words, Yaakov was all about qualities, values, all great things. Esau, on the other hand, was all about the essential connection. And that's why, when it says in reference to Esau, it says that Esau was... Um, uh, Edoim, which is, comes from the word of Mo'id. He was very, very much into the essence, very, very strong powers. And they say he was red because that represents the 13 attributes of um, powerful Kabbalistic uh, lights, but all from an essential connection. So the problem is that Yaakov, even though he was this great boy, but he needed and he was looking for the essential connection. Esau, on the other hand, as much as he had the essential connection, he wasn't able to reveal it. And the two of them would make a great team if they were able to team up. So the Rebbe explains according to Kabbalah what happened was as follows. Esau comes home and he turns to Yaakov and he says, You know this odim odim, which means ma'id, you know this strong power, essential connection I have? Hazem means this. This means when you're able to point and reveal it. He turns to Yaakov and he says, Yaakov, help me reveal my essential power. Bring out the essential power that I have. Up to the point I want to show you, I don't care about revelation. I don't care about stuff. I'm willing to give you my firstborn rights. What Asa was telling him in a, in a positive way, and this is brilliance of Kabbalah, the way it looks, the way he gave away the, the firstborn, not as a negative thing. He was saying all these externalities, all these rewards, you can keep it. I'm not about revelation. I'm not about rewards. I'm not about external stuff. I'm about essence. You want to take all the revelation. So here you see the way Yaakov and Esau were a true partner. Why? Because Esau had the essence. Yaakov had the revelation. Esau needs Yaakov to help him bring out the essence in a revealed way. But Yaakov also wants that powerful essential connection. So to answer the question, what is more important, the soul or the body? They're both equally as important, and you need both. You need the soul to bring out our qualities in a revealed way, but you need the body to be able to connect to the essential real power. This week's Torah lesson is dedicated to the memory of Baruch ben Aryeh Leib, Shlomo ben Yosef, and Rachel Baslipa. May their souls be elevated by the Torah we're studying in their memory. For more information, please see our website, ChabadSWF.org. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson.